and we're back. Um, ready to play another Sigil level. It is New Year's Eve. It is about an hour and a half until the New Year. My entire family is kind of sick, so the kids are definitely in bed. My wife is taking a little bit of a break, so I got some time to, I think, play one of these levels. This one took about 40 minutes or so if I looked at the video, so, you know, they're definitely getting more complex. Um, let's go. I mean, let's just move on and um, see how long it's gonna take to build the, to play the next one. Only 88% of items, 40% of secrets. I think a lot of the items are also related to. Um, there was one section where you pretty much had to sprint through um, a lava, like platforms, and I just bypassed a whole bunch of enemies there. So I think that might also have been the. Um, items that we're missing. Interesting here. That's pretty cool, actually. I mean, that's a. So Doom does the skybox, right? Which is just a repeating texture, which looked awesome back in the day. Um, still has its charms, but this is pretty much doing a skybox without doing a skybox. So I think that's just a black texture. And then a lot of sectors right there, which of course are blinking creating the feeling of a skybox. That's pretty cool. That's something you couldn't have done in the original Doom, I feel. You just would have had too much complexity in there. A lot of these modern ports just allow you, like they up the amount of um, sectors and nine devs, etc. you can do. I like it, looks cool. Now, this is another one. I think, well, no, not that's not true because the very first level actually throws you right in. There've been quite a few levels where that start with you being like a whole bunch of um, enemies with their back to you. What's cool about it, slash, you know, like the choice that you get immediately is how you're going to engage these guys because as soon as you fire one shot, they're all going to wake up. So let's just run over there and try something. I'm not sure, by the way, before I start, I know I'm talking a lot before I'm playing this actual level, but I figure I should just kind of get this all out up front. Um, so John actually messaged me and said my game and the way I've been playing things has looked really dark, much darker than was intended and it might have been because I was using the GL version of Doom and I wasn't using the software render which is how he tuned it. So I tried switching to the software render which I'm pretty sure we're in. Let's actually check again because it still looks really dark here doesn't it? Um, but I was pretty sure I actually went to the software render yes and then um, Theoretically, things are going to look a little bit brighter once we're up close. Here, it still looks kind of off. Right? I wouldn't expect things to look quite as dark as here. So we're going to keep playing with that. But the one thing I'm not going to do again, and I don't think I was ever complaining or bitching about it, but I kept pointing out how things looked a little bit dark. I'm not going to wonder about that again, because we know now for a fact that that's just not as intended. You know what? Let's start this. Oh man, what the? That was terrible. John. So even as you're shooting at all of these guys, nice thing about Doom is right that there's pretty clear, um, very clear actually, enemy categories, and you have hit scan guys, and then you have guys who um, shoot at you with missile weapons, and every group of enemies can be categorized accordingly. Where even if you have like 20 enemies staring in your face. The ones that you only have to care about and that you can prioritize clearly are the ones which are actually going to shoot you with a hit scan weapon. Which is what we're able to do here. And then we can deal with the guys actually throwing them. Um, throwing fireballs at you. Oh, okay. How do I not hear that guy? You would think when there's a cyber demon in the level, you would be able to, I don't know, hear him stomping around. So in this case, he actually advertised himself as, oh wow, that was terrible. That was, a t oh, and there's another guy over there. Interesting. So, I mean, I just screwed myself in terms of the amount of um, health I lost. We pretty much just got rid of all of our um, bonus from the last level. But, I'm going to keep going. This is one of those areas where I feel like, you know, if I was actually doing free look and I was looking up and down I might have a little bit of an advantage now 
which again we talked about in the last level might actually have been the intention or certainly something that um, John wouldn't have minded but I don't know I just feel like a I'm gonna call this Kampf like battle because that's what this looks like here um, I am just too much of a doom purist I feel like something is weird if you can look up and down anything back here this way I totally expect like a um, secret I'm assuming this is just here to give us a nice base so you know just plausibility even in doom you could totally do plausibility and make sure that everything looks kind of like you know it has a purpose and you don't just have this brick um, building standing in the lava but I was hoping for a um, secret back here instead it just gives me a way to the cyber demon which I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shoot at that guy I'm not gonna take that guy out right now I don't know if I could now is this this no this is where you have a little bit of trial and error right here and I just lost a bunch of additional health but we're gonna keep going um, where the visual language just isn't quite clear enough. Oh, that one was totally avoidable though. I mean, what I like about this uh, map, for example, or this map pack, for example, is that you have this um, interesting trigger gameplay, right? Like it establishes the um, the eye pentagram as something to shoot at. Doom itself when it came to visual language just wasn't quite that established back then in the day in that you can arbitrarily I'm gonna run around here and uh, oh yeah he actually got me from there um, you can arbitrarily tag anything in the level or in the game the way you want to so um, a sector for example like lava doesn't hurt you just because it's lava lava hurts you because you put a lava floor texture there and you tagged it as something that does X amount of damage. Oh, <laughs> that was weird. That was like coming right at me and I was just ignoring it more or less. I don't think that's ever happened to me. Oh, by the way, there's a fireball from an incoming. Just let it hit you in the face. Because of that, going back to my thought, <laughs> um, Doom didn't really have clear rules in that like sometimes blood depending on what the level designer did and sometimes what the level designer did in different levels that he was working on she was working on um, you know sometimes blood might damage you when you are stepping on it sometimes it might not same with lava how much um, damage it actually does is entirely up to level designer and arbitrary and I think the same thing when it comes to that kind of visual language also applies to um, like uh, elevators, etc. Which is I was gonna say that's got that splash damage is gonna get me. Um, so this right here might be an elevator or not. You just never quite know. If you have to kind of run up to it and do a trial and error. In a modern game, or you know, certainly when we're working on this kind of stuff, and. Um, we have a group of level designers all contributing to like all the maps in the game these days you would actually you would probably make it overridable but you would always set defaults and say lava always does this much damage and then you would really really request from the um, level designers that they do not override um, defaults <laughs> Uh, not override defaults unless there was a really good reason for it that way you create even if it's subconscious sometimes um, you create a clear visual language right and you make sure that um, players as they play the game have enough information about what like they can actually form an opinion and they can actually like make a prediction about what's gonna happen as they interact with any of these game elements you would do the same thing with elevators and doors, etc., by making them actual game objects. Game objects is a very specific term, actually, that um, is in one of the um, big engines <laughs> that exists right now. Um, didn't mean it. I meant it in a much more arbitrary kind of way. In that, you know, you would create some sort of entity. Entity actually is a um, ah. Need to get rid of this guy quicker. Entity is what Quake called all of its um, well, entities, 
Uh, uh, um, in Unreal terms, it would be called actor. But you would make it an actual. Oh man, would make an extra collection of properties, which then say, "Hey, this is a door. This is what it looks like." And then you have the very clear visual language. Establishing all this stuff. I feel like I'm rambling. Not all that interestingly about game design basics. Part of it is because I just keep dying and dying, and I think I need to form a little bit better of an approach here. So let me just shut up for a moment here and see. Ah, ah there it was again. So I still need to get out of here. Let me um, let's do this one more time. Let's just see what we can do here without um, how we can get through here. So I need to press that button. We're gonna do that. And there they come. So pretty much you turn in there. That, that lost soul is really c quite annoying because, ah, it's like that one little element I feel it's keeping me from running in here and running, oh, <laughs> and running back out of here. He's gonna shoot at me again. I mean, there's no way I'm not getting shot at right now. Well, maybe he just. And now we're gonna go out. Out, 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 out. Now we're gonna save because that took quite a few times. There we go. Something happened, and I found it immediately. Oops. Where are you? Come on. Come on back. There's still a pinky down here, right? There he is. And then... So, let's just get this back out there. Can we run across there? I mean, we should be able to run across there. Yeah. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Interesting um, floor texture choice here. Kind of tentacle thing. A little bit avant-garde by Doom standards. Yeah. Now this doesn't actually get us anywhere yet though. So this gets us up here. I'm assuming I can jump over there. Oh well, could have if I hadn't screwed it up. I go on both sides actually. But ah, oh, I'm gonna overshoot it, Jesus. Come on, you can do better than that. I like the music, by the way. It's very much like it, instead of like a pounding um, metal soundtrack, it's veering on the side of just mysterious and kind of. I don't know what else to call it. See, this still looks completely dark. And maybe that's because it's not the right texture or something, but this still looks a little bit weird to me. The music, not the actual music itself actually, but the, um, can I go around there? Maybe I can, but if I can, save here again. You might see a little bit of, if you played the old Turrican games, which, you know, I actually worked on a um, Turrican game that we just never got to ship. I think there's a secret. Awesome. Um, your Turkey games always had, um, as you're getting towards the end, they had a alien-inspired level. If not to say an alien kind of rip-off level. Ooh. Oh, what's here? I haven't been in here yet. And um, instead of having awesome music by Chris Hilsberg, who I saw tonight, by the way, he doesn't live right here anymore, so I don't see him all the time. Um, but he's in town. He was visiting and he was making the awesome music for um, Turrican. So it had this kind of pounding, cool soundtrack as well. But when you got to the alien levels, it's very much like here. The music is much more of a soundscape rather than that heavy metal soundtrack. Okay, so let's get our bearings again. Oh, really? That actually did something? 
So I can get up there, but and I can get to both sides, but that got me a secret and that's it. I have unlocked... I can't go in there yet, can I? Am I just missing something? You also have the staircase there. But that staircase doesn't seem to be unlocked yet. I expect there to be some sort of... Tri oh, wait, I can go down here. Oh, look at that. Just wasn't paying attention. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. They're both tagged to be deaf, so even though his buddy died right next to him. Uh, no, 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 you I actually want the shotgun for. And I'm out of ammo, but actually shotgun or chain gun actually good. Okay, so we made it in here. Picked something up, we pressed the button. Might have lowered more stuff up there. <laughs> and the teleporter is actually a disguised trigger. So I'm running pretty low on ammo in this level. Ooh, look at that. Floor just turned into a much more. I am screwed. I might not be screwed. Um, so we're actually not gonna... We've been saving over comp the entire time, which makes a lot of sense, but I don't want to s save over the old um, save game here. So we would be much, much better off uh, if we had the actual... Um, Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of screwed here. Um, this would be easy, like actually easy if we had... Ah, he's right there. If we had a chain gun, because then I could um, get these guys into pain chance and... Um... Oh man, this is... This would be unplayable, by the way, oh, as a level design. You wouldn't even try to make this if this was the actual old Doom engine because, as I mentioned before, these guys actually only had 2D collision. So um, you would get stuck all the time, even though they're way above you, you couldn't even see them. Even here though, because the weapons, you know, they auto aim, so they auto go up and down. So sometimes you'll stand right in front of this guy and then you'll shoot and um, splatter yourself to death. So the only weapon of note that I actually have is <laughs> a rocket launcher. This is tricky. Save again. Okay, so we press this. This went away, this went away. The um, ground looks all interesting, I'm expecting. I mean, this just all became available. Um, like where do I go next? I mean, this still works, but this doesn't do anything anymore, does it? How do I get out of here? What's next? Level progression, look at that right now. I think that's just... That's just because of the um, ground structure. Hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. The only thing I can throb in this is this right here, which doesn't do anything. I think you still get the sound every time because it's still firing that um, line death, which doesn't do anything now. Right? Yeah. In fact, it still shows up on the um, on the map. So what next? What is next? Um, let's look around. Blood. I actually shot somebody here. Those decals, of course, didn't exist in Doom. You just get some. 
blood sprites. But here they tell a little bit the story. I mean, you know, that right there. We take this for granted. This didn't exist back then. Well, it's perfectly telling the story of this guy dying against this wall. I am talking. I mean, it's environmental storytelling. I did an entire GDC talk with Harvey Smith, which I still very much recommend. But I'm talking about all this stuff just because I don't have anything else to do. I feel like I'm very much stuck. If you already played these levels, or you made these levels, um, and you're kind of cursing at the screen right now, it's like, it's so obvious. Doofus. I apologize, I'm just not sure what to do next. It's just not at all obvious to me. One thing I could do... But I think I can see everything up there again, like sometimes I'm wondering if I should look up or down. See if there's something up there, like a trigger that I could actually shoot, but I don't think so. So, how? I mean, I'm kind of at this point now, because I'm not sure what else to do. And I'd love to... Because I, I very much doubt that this is an actual bug. I'm very much sure that I'm just missing something here. There's always a chance I broke this, but... I see now, I could do... A cliff. And, um... Um... ID clip. So, you know, I can get myself out of here. It's not a question. Just not sure that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Hit clip. Um, well, I mean, maybe that's what we'll do. At this point, in the interest of time. So this is the only thing that actually feels like it's doing something, but... Well, there's a sector that was here to um, lower like a wall earlier. And I'm rather sure it's still just triggering that. Don't think it's doing anything else. Maybe it's supposed to lower something here. You don't see anything changing on the map when we do this, so... And then there's a wall behind me. So that is still a wall that maybe we expect to come down. Oh no, we're way behind it already. So that's just... We just don't get an actual line depth. Like registered on this side, we also don't get... It's like a single line missing over here. There is still stuff up here. Over here, this is where the staircase was going down. Okay, so let's actually do this. Because, I don't know. Hit clip. Get out of here. I'm going to save this. And you know what? If this is not what it was, I'll go back in there later and finish it that way. Ah. We there we go. Running always helps. So down here now there actually is a something is open here now, I think, maybe. I think that's how I was supposed to come back out, isn't it? Kinda looks like that's the exit. And the exit doesn't actually um exit. So I mean that's just that's here, right? Now it's... Where is it? Yeah, it's back behind here. So if this didn't actually open for some reason, let's assume we came back out of here, and then let's assume that we triggered something somewhere else on the level that we are now going to be able to um, use as a progression. No progression, that looked like a... Ran by it so many times. 
and finally decided, wait a second, that just is slightly inset. This is some um, ammo then, awesome. Now back there is that, we haven't been over there yet, so. Um, I don't know if those are blue torches or they're actually indicating something like a blue um, blue key door or something. Oh, oh, oh. Why, how are you shooting? Why are you shooting at me from back there? And there's some imps shooting at me too. Oh, up there, all the way up there, okay. Yep, blue door. Makes sense. Um, the issue again, and I don't really care if they, I'm probably gonna reload later anyway. Um, the issue again I have is that. I can go up here, but I don't really have a progression now. This might open at some point. This might even have opened as I came out here. I am sorry, I'm like just making guesstimates right here, which is not good. I mean, there might be a line dev here, which I would trigger if, let's go back. Let's go back to, let's go back to Spiel, which was way earlier. Well, actually, oh, this was this right here, which, I mean, that's just gonna lead to us, um, Something went down here, but yeah, this was just us actually defeating these monsters. Right, and then, um, can do that again, of course. Oh, well, I don't die first. Oh, yeah. That's right, we were out of. <laughs> um. Yeah, right there. looking into what might be um, lowering here. I mean, maybe I'm missing something in here that... Um, That's how, if you get good at Doom, you can survive a Kako Demon with this much space. Uh, and um, as I said this, he's probably going to kill me now. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Screw you! The um, chain gun actually works pretty well just because it has... Um, Kako Demon has such a high um, pain chance. Okay, so that just goes down again afterwards. Or maybe it goes down again in the first place. But now what? And what triggered that thing going down again? So again, Doom doesn't have any monster triggers. There's no way to trigger something off you killed this guy. Whoa! That actually... Oh my god, this was actually possible the entire time, yeah? So I think I just... We're gonna go back to the actual um, safe game we had, because... We found the secret and did some other stuff here. So, but I think that was the level progression the entire time. And I just missed it. A little bit cryptic, I might say, if that's what it is. Okay, so now we actually got out of here correctly. Now let's see if we actually triggered something that now um, advances the progression. Because, yeah, I got out of there. But... Confident now that I haven't broken any sort of progression. And now what? It's definitely where Doom... Because you can't really send any messages. And it's not even kind of hard to spatially connect stuff. I can get up there at least some shape or form. Oh look, that's okay. So this is actually part of the. Assuming I can go over there, or almost. Um, ah, yeah. Come on. 
give it to me. Um, this is where Doom like makes it a little bit hard for a level designer to properly communicate with the player. Um, the only way you can actually show that something has affected something else in the level is to either or draw a connection because you're using colored color elements like colored keys you know you give me the blue key of course the blue door is where I'm gonna keep going um, oh ow or um, you have to draw like an extra connection like something like a sector that has like energy or something flowing all the way from what you just did to um, what you just that's why this is here. Like here is the trigger and oh no 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 I could see that. That was that was a slow motion fail. And, you know, so you do that. Here's the here's the door. Here's a sector, like a red sector that now draws a connection from here to there and that's how you know this door is opened. Quake of course improved on that because you could send extra messages. You had more um, language for well, yeah, Geronimo. Oh no, that's a little bit unfair, isn't it? Um, so you could send messages, although those those become a crutch very quickly because whenever you send a message like that, it's ultimately the level designer talking to the player directly instead of doing everything skeuomorphic. If you want to talk, call it that way. It's a kind of bad word, but mean is that it's not fully integrated into the world, right? It's the actual nice that guy just ah. Um, it's the level designer pretty much talking to you right ahead, saying, hey, this door is open somewhere else. Still, it helped. Okay. I'm assuming a whole bunch of people are going to come down there, yeah. Hello. I have rockets. I should... Not used to rockets on these guys. Oh man. Okay. Let's talk more action again. I mean, this is tough. This is honestly the difficulty here is quite hard. And I'd much rather talk about stuff. Can't help it anyway. <laughs> and be quiet, but man, like. This is not easy. I think something's gonna come up here later. Aha! This is where they came from. Um, oh, oh yeah, I'm a little bit too... Shit. This is just a um, monster closet? I think so. actually come out. Maybe I shouldn't waste these weapon rockets because I can actually use them on the cyber demons later. Hey rocket launcher. But oh look at that. Somebody's shooting at me from somewhere. I 
know I could just change to all these guys. I'm just not. Screw it. Well, now it's a little bit late, but. I feel like I'm below this cap uh, cyber demon, which of course is not possible, but Okay. And do I want this now? Oh, yes, I do. And that teleporter just went down, so. Do I actually want to try to run over there right now? Nice. Thank you. That was awesome. Yes for telefragging. The other one go down too. Is there another one available for me now? There was like up there for example, wasn't there a No, not yet. Maybe not yet. Um, the other teleporter is not marked on the map either, so let's not worry about Oh, come on. <sighs> so I figure I've rambled so much in all of these design, or oh, well, level design. Just playthroughs. Come on. Me just shutting up and playing the game with a sense of purpose might be very welcome. Really? Shouldn't run into the walls, so that's gonna slow me down. There again, what's going on here? Keep hitting the um, auto map on accident when I want to just trigger running. Yeah. 
Ow! That was not good. Expect better of me. Um, so how do I get in there? Uh huh. These teleporters, by the way, only work if you put them exactly on the 64 by 64 grid, because there's no way to align ceilings and floors. So they have to be aligned on the level grid. And for Memento Mori 2, we actually created one teleport texture, which was offset by 32. So when you looked at the actual texture, it looked weird because everything was wrong. Everything was exactly like the edges were in the middle of the texture, but we just needed one because it was quite a bit of a um, limitation to not be able to put a <laughs> teleporter like like right here, like in um, tight corners. So we created that texture for it. Uh, this was over here, wasn't it? In here. Yeah, I was expecting a whole bunch of stuff to, well, I was expecting way more to actually change here, but there it is. Um, I should just have... last save oh my god is this where we last saved okay when we came out and then because I just wasted a shot oh man I should have um should have saved in between sorry <laughs> Come on, you guys, give me some infighting here. No infighting, huh? something different here. Nope. <laughs> I think the idea is good, but the execution was terrible because he's too close. Okay. Ah, it's... Mm. 
Oh man, I should not have switched from that. Shotgun. there um, all the way up there I think again I can't look up it's up there maybe not yeah somebody's shooting at me from all the way so how This is like super involved stuff here. I mean, it's like so much gameplay you get out of one little area, right? And it's ultimately all just encounter after encounter, but. It's like, how much can you transform an area? Did something similar in some of my Doom levels. Quake did this quite a bit as well on some locations. Certainly in the um, like user-generated maps. Double fail. Can I go down here and just fight him? There's more guys as usual. believe how much of this game I played without running because <laughs> it still feels so fast it feels actually sl this actually feels slow now but generally speaking I mean you do get it advantage out of it crossing lava etc but also strafing Really? Oh no. This is gonna be tricky. Um, Cause I can splash damage myself. Gotta be very careful with that. <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do that. I was gonna kill these guys first, but that's where my 98% kill comes from. Alrighty, we did it. This was another, this was a tough one. It says 32 minutes, 33 minutes, but I think the actual like time that I streamed this was quite a bit longer. 
Alrighty, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it is now 42 minutes until midnight and until 2020. Wish you a very happy new year. And I hope you're going to come back and join us again. I'm going to probably do the next level tomorrow or so. And I'm going to post it again on my channel. Until then, have a great new year. And I'll see you soon.